If we want to know how many workers to hire, we're going to hire workers up until the wage equals the marginal revenue product of labor. In this case, the wage is $100. So we just need to find the marginal product of labor. So we're going to find that by multiplying the marginal product of labor by the price. They're telling us here that the output price is 10. So we just multiply that by 10. So we can do that here in this column. Uh, we're going to put marginal revenue product of labor and we don't have one for zero because that's the it's, it would be the difference between negative one workers and zero workers. So for the first worker, it's how much additional output we get. It would be 15 units widgets uh, times 10, so be 15 times 10, so be 150. The first worker is worth 150. The second worker. Uh, produces an additional 10 units and we multiply that by 10 so that's gonna be a hundred the next worker uh, gives us an additional 8 units so this is 80 and then this is 60 so the answer here is 2 I'm gonna hire two workers and stop there don't hire the third and fourth worker